All the talk about uh, you and, and your presence in, in the Money Team camp, the Floyd Mayweather camp, um, first kicked off, you know, obviously everyone was thinking, oh, you know, oh, he's over there giving, you know, info and this, that, and the other. Did, did, did any of that take place? As far as giving info? Yeah. There's, I, I think, I don't know if it makes for good hype or it's just, you know, sometimes people take things, uh, you know, are kind of... Unfortunately, some people become reactive to situations and, mm -hmm. and they run off, you know, and, and they're not really thinking intelligently about that. Because, I mean, info is, if you're looking for info on, like, on how somebody spars or how somebody's fighting, mean, if a guy's fought 40 times on TV, mm -hmm. well, th there's your sparring right there. Right. right? <laughs> there's nothing that I'm going to tell you that you can't see on TV yourself. Mm -hmm. So, no, my, it's, you know, I... I never bring something from one camp to another camp. I just, I, what I do is I start to focus on hopefully being able to see something I can bring to this camp that would, uh, that they would find or that he would find helpful and, and whatever it is that he's looking for to continue to proceed with his career. Mm -hmm. Well, let, let, let's, let's get right into the fight now. You, obviously you were a part of Maidana's camp in the last fight, so you were in the corner. Um, watching the fight through through you know the the strength and conditioning eyes, but now you were kind of more of a fan watching it. Um, you know, maybe possibly through a different set of eyes. What 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 did you think about the fight itself? I thought it was a good fight. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a good fight. I, um, I was glad to see that. Uh, you know, all the talk about uh, you know Floyd not uh, not being as 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 agile and and as elusive. I think you know we saw we saw that he still has his legs when he wants to have his leg. He was just as sharp and he was just as quick. And mm -hmm. you know, my Donna made it. It's, he's a very awkward fighter. You know, he's unpredictable. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's not conventional boxer. I mean, he does. You can't set him up the same way and set those traps the same way you can, because he he doesn't even know him probably they're being set. He's just <laughs> he's just going. He's gonna bull his way right through it. Right. But um, of course, you know, looking at him physically and and. Uh, you always have to you, have, well, you always have to have a reference mm -hmm. and when you when you look at the numbers at the end of the thing you, and you see that he produced half of what less than half of what he did the first fight then mm -hmm. yeah there, there's of course there's a little bit of disappointment in it do you think do you think he was being more conservative because he was uh, you know worried about running out of you know gas in the tank or I, I don't know I mean Whatever the game plan was, if it was the game plan was to throw half the punches that you threw in the half one, in the first fight and then land less than half than you did in the first fight, I, I don't know how that game plan is going to work out for you. And how's that going to produce a victory? Well, it didn't. It didn't. <laughs> my, my point. So, you know, your your idea is to, to you you take what you did in the first fight and you try to you try to at least do that same thing, if not more. Because, I mean, we are barely, you know, we fell a little, just a little, if we did fall short at all in the first fight. Mm -hmm. And then to say that, you know, you're going to come in and do this, this, and this, and then not even come, not even half close. That's, that's yeah, that's a, that's a big decline in, in performance. Did you, um, do, do you think, do you think he's, when you saw his physique, I mean, I talked to you at the weigh-in and, and, you know, you said you, you felt like he thought he looked a little emaciated and, and gaunt. Um, do you think that was wise for him to, to come into that fight like that? Or? Of, co of course not. I think, I, but again, I have the way I prepare my guys. Mm -hmm. Other people have their methods. You know, it's not my way is the perfect way. It's just my way. Mm -hmm. I know what my guys look like at the scales. I know how I hydrate them. I know how I get them ready. And I know... I know what they're supposed to look like and how they're, and, and so every time a my guy goes out, I know that, and it's not just the physical part, I think it's the mental part that they know that they did the work and that they know that we've been through this, through this, uh, this system, this mm -hmm. formula of the way of getting ready. So mentally they know that they're going in there prepared to, you know, lash out, you know, a thousand round, a thousand punches, uh, you know, for the fight. Do, do you think he looked like mentally different in this fight? I just saw I saw I saw different I saw him different because again I know what I was used to seeing mm -hmm. how I know how he looked I know how I saw him from day to day his physical not only his physical but his mental approach so um, I did I saw I saw a difference of mm -hmm. course I'm gonna see it because I knew him personally and I knew him up close and I and I and that's my job is to look at somebody physically 
Mm -hmm. So yeah, for me, he, there was you know obviously a vast difference. Well, just just to because I know a lot of you know obviously when we put the video out, you're gonna have people comment, oh, what's he talking about? He doesn't know that. But but I just kind of want to put it in perspective. When when you're when you're working with a fighter, you're like literally with them every almost more than the trainer, right? Well, yeah, we live together and. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, you know, I'm a vigil on everything that he does. Mm -hmm. but, you know, we we do again. We do things. Our 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 approach is scientific. You know, we use exercise and nutritional science to to physically prepare the athlete for whatever the event is. Mm -hmm. So we do everything by the numbers. At this level of the game, there's there's no room for guessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's to me, it's not only irresponsible, but it's just ignorant. Why would you guess? On the biggest fight of the, <laughs> on the <laughs> biggest stage of your career, to, to right. get something is, is just to me is, is, you know, oh well, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, I, you know, it, it, like I said, as far as as far as the the fight itself played, I mean, I personally thought that, um, you know, even though Floyd thought he did better in the first fight, I I thought he looked like he did much better in the second fight. I thought he you know won nine or ten rounds or something like that. Um, is is there anything that you think um, either either fighter really Floyd could have done differently or Maidana could have done differently to um, to put on a different type of performance? I think you have to look at it like this, like in any sport. If 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 you have a formula, and especially for us, the formula with Maidana when we started with the Broner fight, even even us, it's still a learning experience. We're still learning that particular athlete's body, mm -hmm. his chemistry, the way he performs, the way he. He uses calories, what combinations of foods make him mm -hmm. uh, uh, feel better, other combinations. So, you know, it, it was still a learning process. So, of course, what we saw, what we, what we were capable of doing in, in one fight, we know that, you know, we're still learning him. Mm -hmm. We're still learning things about him, not just physically, but mentally. So, I think we had just made so much progress with him mentally in the fact that he be became more confident in knowing that physically he could push himself to a, a higher level than I think he's a, he could expect himself. Mm -hmm. To his own admission, he says, I was doing things that I never thought I'd ever do before. Mm -hmm. So that's a huge step for us, a huge step. Mm -hmm. So now, once you have him confidently feeling that he can, he can perform at his, at, at his pinnacle, then it's just about fine tuning certain things and, and, and getting it. To, to completely drastically change it and to do something I guess old school or whatever mm -hmm. it is, and and then you know, especially at such a at such a big moment of the, I mean at such a big fight, it's like all of a sudden you're taking a guy who takes you to the Super Bowl, you're going to remove the quarterback who got you there, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, mm -hmm. I don't know a sport in history that would let you would let you do that. Mm -hmm. So you know, again. You don't know how his body is going to respond or how it's going to react it, but I think at the end of the day, you have to just look at the numbers and what he did in the last fight and what he did in this fight, mm -hmm. and you know, draw your own conclusion. I was actually surprised that, um, I mean, Floyd landed some really, really good body shots, and um, I was actually surprised that at one point I actually thought, you know, <laughs> I mean, he, he, I mean, it looked like Maidana was not. Like in some of those body yeah. shots, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look like what? Yeah, I don't. <laughs> you said it, not me. <laughs> but I definitely thought that um, um, he didn't like some of the shots that Floyd was landing. Is, is there a way you can prepare a fight? And I only ask this just because you know I know when when fans will critique. Maidana and, and what his weakness might be you know a lot of people will say oh he can't take it to the body because obviously Amir hurt him to the body and I think a other, couple other guys you know kind of had him doubling over is there something specifically that you can do to work on that and and kind of you know get a fighter prepared to take that kind of punishment or is it is it something like you got to have the right size on you or something like that yeah I think um, listen the game plan for the last fight you know it's so funny because <laughs> they come, they come out and they say, "Oh, he was too heavy and this and that." And you know, that that was their game plan. Mm -hmm. You know, I only produced the 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 physical athlete that you wanted for to to, to so he could carry out that game plan. Mm -hmm. We wanted a bigger, stronger, heavier somebody that was going to wear Floyd down, being able to pin him, and make it the kind of fight that he had that he that he did. Mm -hmm. But inside and and with all that, to have the kind of volume of punching that he did, I mean almost a thousand punches against Floyd. Right. 
that I mean that's something to you know the same thing against a you know Broner and you know to have the kind of uh, the landing percentage that you know, nobody's ever had. Mm -hmm. you, you you don't look at the negatives of it. You look at the positives and what more can we do? Mm -hmm. Don't sit there and start crying about it. Oh, we think it was too heavy and this and that. Well. Now look at the results of it. Right. You brought him in ten pounds lighter, and he couldn't. He couldn't physically dominate Floyd the way he did. Mm -hmm. He couldn't hold him. He couldn't. He couldn't aggressively, you know, bull him around. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the body couldn't take the, the the punishment that it was taking throughout the fight. Well, yeah, I kind of thought that um, <clears throat> it, it it was the size issue. Um, I definitely thought that he was. Um, you know, not obviously he wasn't as big as he was last time, but I kind of felt like that that was part of the reason why he wasn't able to be. Obviously, Floyd did his thing too, so that helped the situation. Right. But um, it just seemed like he was more effective when he did have Floyd up against the ropes than he did um, the second time around. Yeah, he's a bigger, he was a stronger person, and I think he had more confidence in, in letting his hands go. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, look, at, whatever the complaints are, you can't deny what the numbers are. Mm -hmm. The numbers of the first fight versus the numbers of the second fight. I mean, that, that in itself tells the story of where you were physically yeah. and how, you, how your approach to the fight was mentally.